The $30 million lawsuit related to Diddy's scandal suddenly became more noisy with Harry's appearance in the report. This is not the first case of a royal family being involved in a law suite in the U.S. You probably remember Andrew's lawsuit from before. Let us find out in this video and... Welcome back to the Royal News 365 channel, my friends. It's saying the people who sponsored Diddy's parties then got access to other celebrities like Harry, not that he was involved in organizing sex trafficking, yet Harry may have been at parties that victims attended. How was Diddy able to peddle access to Harry? He must have to access himself, to begin with. And how would he get access to Harry? Maybe by befriending him inviting him to lavish parties slash trips, and supplying him with whatever party favors Harry might desire. It's about fame and money for him. Just look at what he and his even worse wife have done to make their fortune. No honor, no integrity, just a poor me attitude and a lust for millions at the expense of trashing something truly meaningful. Otherwise, what does Harry get out of the relationship? He doesn't need money and connections. Scratching my head, I don't see what else Diddy could offer Harry. And if he was really at one of these parties, he's so bad. Accusations aside, Diddy has had a long-standing reputation for throwing legendary parties attended by Alisters. He's been on the Alist circuit for years, going to the Oscars parties, Grammys, and so on. They all mingle and know each other, and Harry was an international Alister for years, maybe. Not so much now. If it can be proved Harry was at a party where underage girls were present and drugged, or Jones was drugged, he's toast if he was just hanging around at a party with other celebs. I can't see much happening. I doubt there'd be a famous person who hasn't been in the same room or at a party with Diddy at least once. Whatever the reason, it definitely doesn't look good being mentioned in the transcript, however. I can say that given Harry's past, there is no surprise. Remember that party in the USA where he played pool in the nude and was allegedly more than a little high and very drunk. He would do anything even then to take the attention of his family and try and make himself look famous, and not for being the spare. He had a long history of being abusive to sex workers when he was in the military, not just strippers and hookers in Vegas, yet other places including Canada where he abused, hit, a barmaid he took back to his rooms. When you add to this his constant Soho house sexual adventures, it's quite plausible that Harry traded access to himself at Diddy's epic parties for access to whatever partners Diddy made available to Harry. Harry doesn't do anything for free. If Diddy wanted to use Harry as one of his elite dancing circus bears, Harry definitely received favors in return, given Harry's shady, sleazy, and possibly criminal past, he should have stayed behind palace walls. No wonder William hates him, as much as the, the royal family covered him up. Had Harry never met Meghan, and never left the royal family, there would have been people warning him of some of these characters. He really is a fish out of water, stateside, and doesn't really know how to be careful. When Harry met Diddy, Harry was never the sharpest tool when he had an entire royal team around him doing their best. However, now that he's on his own, he's mixing with some very questionable people. Remember the fake prince just a few weeks ago that he took his picture with? He's not implicated, be wary of who you hang about with. More woes for the royal family. Charles doesn't need more stress. Not great for cancer recovery. Not a good year for the royal family. And it's only March. Remember when Harry threw shade at Uncle Andrew and declared that he's never been involved in such untoward schemes with questionable people. I can't wait for the tabloids to dig this Diddy connection up and shame the shit out of him. He's dumb and useless when it comes to the African Park scandal, yet this one won't be so easy for him to ignore. If true, this will seriously damage the royal family. Harry was within the fold, and having Andrew is bad enough yet to have two of them will hit very hard. It might ruin more than Harry. This has to be above the speculation level. And the Sugars will paint Meghan as Harry's savior, who took him away from all of that. I just hope Harry's not given a free pass by the media if it turns out that he's involved. It's about time that he's made to be accountable for his actions. 
It sounds like Diddy used Harry to glam up his epic parties to draw in the A-plus celeb crowd. Harry doesn't do anything for free. He loves a good party. He loves drugs, and he reportedly loves it rough with sex workers. It seems likely that Harry attended these parties in exchange for the type of party favors of his choosing. He knew the girls all had non-disclosure agreements, so he probably felt sage, however, because prostitution is illegal in the U.S. all of those non-disclosure agreements wouldn't just be. Voidable. They would be void. The victims will be free to speak out as much as they like. With all the recent angling of Harry claiming he wants to return to the U.K., and with Meghan hiring a U.K. peer firm to make her more palatable in England, and looking for a British CEO for American Riviera Orchard, the duo may realize deportation could actually become a reality. The royal family may not have enough Teflon spray in reserve for this scandal. Sugars will blame it on the British royal family and the British press for not coddling and protecting poor innocent Harry and keeping him away from bad people. Sugars will have a meltdown when trying to make excuses. For Harry? Harry is an unsavory character and I don't doubt he benefited from the party favors at Diddy's parties. Why would a wealthy guy like that need to use Harry? I suspect there's something deeper here. Harry was used as a lure for other famous people to get them in a compromising position, possibly to blackmail them, and perhaps Harry himself was being blackmailed. Thus it was easy to use him. This is exactly why royals cannot even accept casual gifts, Megan rebelled against this and refused to accept or understand this policy. By accepting nice things, designer clothing, jewelry, art, etc., reciprocity is expected, as access, the person becomes compromised, little things lead to bigger things, and then scandal. Harry has always been a sleaze. No surprise he hooks up with scum like this. If Harry gets dragged down, I think we might be looking at a divorce watch. Meghan can go full victim mode, throw Harry under the bus, get custody of the invisible kids, and merge them to her heart's content. Could this, among other things, be the reason Meghan may be trying to get financing from an Asian country and approval to sell her wares in their country? Did Meghan really cut Harry out of her new money-making venture, poor him? As the investigation continues, there may be a lot that will be uncovered. And it will take time, however, like Andrew, the initial naming of Harry in the Diddy files is just the building block of a rough road ahead for the royal. You can't ask for worse peer, and it will only plummet from here. I imagine it will be a peer nightmare for the Harkles if big, bold headlines linking Harry and P. Diddy take hold. The Harkle Par team may be in panic mode, trying to deflect CO results. Harry is not a defendant charged in this case. It seems like he was used by Diddy as bait to lure people who wanted to get close to Harry. It sounds funny, yet I believe that in reality there are still many people who want to approach him. I bet that it's simply for bragging points, just like why the Palm Beach socialites vied to host the Duke and Duchess of Windsor once you've got one high social status person coming to your party it's much easier to get others to accept your invitations, and then easier for you to become part of. That social circle. Another possibility is in hopes of getting paid go-away money from the royal family. They've been known to do that. Beryl Markham made out like a bandit from her affair with Prince Henry, Duke of Gloucester. The royal family agreed to pay her a handsome sum annually for the rest of her life if she'd just go away and leave Henry alone. Perhaps Diddy figured he'd get some dirt on Harry and make some inquiries as to what it would be worth to the royal family to keep it quiet. However, he probably did not expect that he would be exposed, as well as that Harry would leave the royal family, and they would no longer be related to each other. Shame on Harry. He doesn't know how to choose friends to socialize with or have sharp eyes to see through others. He's constantly involved with terrible people and scandals. The Africa Park scandal hasn't been resolved yet. Then comes the Diddy scandal. It seems like bad things are gradually unfolding. That brings us to the end of my video. Hope you agree with my point of view. If not, please comment so we can discuss it.
Don't forget to like and share the video so YouTube can recommend similar videos. And if you want to receive notifications about the latest videos, please subscribe. We will be back soon. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.